pray with me? Holy God, we ask for your presence today to be with us as we are hearing your word preached. That you may touch our hearts and move us to be your children in a world. Amen. These teachings from Jesus of, about blessedness are some of the most famous and well-loved of Jesus' teachings in the Bible. But what I've noticed is how easy it is to handle them as trite cliches. For every one of the Beatitudes, there are corresponding platitudes. For example, when Jesus says, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God, some people respond, ah, yes, money can't buy happiness, or the best things in life are things. How easy it is to say to people who are in financial poverty, don't worry about being poor now, God's going to bless you in heaven. Doesn't quite cover the rent, does it? And then we hear, blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. How easy it is to say to those who suffer from malnutrition and food poverty, just wait. Your time is coming. The trickle-down effect will find its way into your hungry mouths eventually. Doesn't quite pay the grocery bill, does it? And on this All Saints Sunday, when we remember those who have passed into eternal life, our eyes filled with tears and our hearts choking with grief, we hear these words, Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. In our culture that fears death and cannot tolerate deep mourning, this teaching is often re reduced to, Oh, get over it. I don't know about you, but I need something more. I'm not content just to gloss over these words and skip out to brunch. I need a deeper understanding of what Jesus' teachings really mean for me and for our society and for our church. I would guess that you too are longing to know what Jesus' words mean for your life for our congregation, for our future as a people of God. So let's go a little deeper into these texts to try to understand the words, to, to wrap our heads and our hearts around Jesus' profound teaching and to listen carefully to what they are saying to us across the centuries. The poor, the hungry, the grieving. Let's take a moment with each of these. The poor. The word in Greek is patokoi. Patokoi. It literally means poor people. Religion scholar Richard Swenson points out that the word contains a verb, patuo, which literally means I am spitting. When we say Patui. It comes from that word. In other words, Jesus is saying, blessed are the spat upon. Hmm. Some of you may be familiar with the superstitious practice of spitting to ward off evil spirits or outcomes. Swenson tells of a Jewish mother who, whenever she heard of misfortune befalling someone, would ritually spit three times poo, 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 to ward off these evil spirits from herself or her family from the danger and evil that stalk us. In other words, blessed are the people who are made into warning signs about the possibility of catastrophic collapse or failure. People who are weary of the phrase there, but by the grace of God, go I. What does it look like for a church to welcome the spat upon? 
If theirs is the kingdom of God, what does that look like? I'll tell you what it looks like. It looks like the passing of the peace in this church on a Sunday morning. We have people in this church who for various reasons have felt spat upon in their lives. Either because of their lack of income or the mistakes they've made in the past or because of their sexual orientation or their race or because of their age or their health. But in this place, they are claiming their rightful place as a child of God in the sanctuary of God's house. Welcoming the spat upon sounds like all of those voices singing and making a joyful noise unto the Lord. It feels like the handshakes and the hugs with people who have felt looked down on in their lives. It looks like the relief and joy on their faces, knowing there is at least one place, one church, where they are welcomed and valued and treated as a full-fledged member of the Church of God. In other words, a Beatitude church is one that welcomes all people. United in Christ is a Beatitude church. Can I get an amen? <laughs> How about the hungry? The Greek word is penao. It's not just feeling hungry because you skipped lunch. This is the kind of hunger that causes suffering and the kind of suffering that causes hunger. It points to a broken system that allows for certain members of our society to be so financially destitute that they cannot provide for their basic needs, food, clothing, housing, access to clean water, and medical care. Jesus contrasts this with the word cortazo, which means to be filled. <coughs> what does it look like for a church to bless and fill those who are in desperate need? What does it look like to be a cortazzo church? I'll tell you what it looks like. It looks like our narthex downstairs with baskets filled to the brim with food that people bring in for the local food banks. It looks like people taking grocery bags next week to fill with items for Thanksgiving dinners for people in need in our community. It looks like a crowd of people walking through the streets of Milton a couple weeks ago to raise awareness and funds for crop walk. It looks like folks volunteering to serve a meal and make desserts for the monthly meal at St. Andrews in Milton. In other words, a Cortazo church is a church with lots of opportunities to bless and fill the ones who are hungry. United in Christ is that congregation, a cortazzo church. And that leaves us with grieving. Clio in Greek. What do we do with loss? How do we as a church handle sorrow? You're seeing it today. We are lighting candles, remembering those who have meant something in our lives. We are making visual prayers to remember those who have made us who we are, who have meant something to us. It's these kinds of rituals that help us to remember why we do what we do, why we are the church. You can take a walk up through the cemetery after church and you can remember the saints who founded this church, 
who looked at this field in the 1800s and saw a vision of Ecclesia Plantanda, the church planted. Not one of those original founders remains. Every one of them was mourned and passed into eternal life. But the church held that grief, comforted those who mourned, honored those lives, and sustained the work of this congregation to this very day. So what does it sound like to have the weeping of those who are in deep sorrow transformed into gelao, which means laughter. It sounds like a gaggle of giggling teens outside the church for the youth lock-in in September, gathered around a campfire, the smoke wafting up into the air and floating over those gravestones. It sounds like a baby's cries or a six-year-old forgetting to use his inside voice, interrupting the quietness of our worship service as if to say, here I am. I am a little saint of God who needs all the love and understanding of all the grown-ups around me, even if I get on their nerves sometimes. Later this month, Gelao will look like our youth buying presents for children in need in our community with money from the Rich Huff Fund. And then after that, it will look like children raising their voice in song, putting on costumes to tell the story of Jesus' birth in our Christmas pageant. And then after that, it's going to sound like they're giggling with games at our New Year's lock-in, their laughter peeling across the centuries, greeting the sounds of their ancestors as if to say, take heart, your grief is not in vain. Look at what your life has meant. Look at what your faithful ministry has planted. Those who go out weeping with seeds to sow will return again, bringing in the sheaves. We are the harvest. United in Christ, we are a Gelao church. We are a church filled with laughter. The poor, the hungry, the mourning, all of them welcome and transformed into the Beatitude Church. And there's one other blessing we must not forget. Jesus says, blessed are you when people hate you, when they exclude you, revile you, and defame you on the count of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for surely your reward is great in heaven. Those two verses, encompass all the previous verses that we just heard. The poor, the hungry, the grieving, they have all experienced being excluded, reviled, defamed, and yes, even hated. And yet, impossibly, Jesus proclaims that when you find yourself among those who are excluded and hated, you are to rejoice and leap for joy. How can this be? Is Jesus really so naive? How can he make such an imperative to rejoice? The key is in the reason Jesus gives for this ability to rejoice. Mistos, which means reward. Jesus says, for surely your reward is great in heaven. Now some people sometimes say, your reward will be great in heaven. But that's not what Jesus is saying. He's not talking about pie in the sky by and by. He's talking about right now, right here. Heaven is giving you, equipping you with what you need right now. At this very moment, God is working on your heart and your mind, moving you through the process of grief, 
so that you can metabolize the loss and find your way in the world. At this very moment, God is working on your heart and mind, moving you to not only feed the hungry and provide for their immediate needs, but also to confront the system that sets up these injustices in the first place. At this very moment, God is working on your heart and mind, moving you to not only embrace the spat upon and the avoid in this world, but to stand with them in solidarity and say, this is a beloved child of God who has much to teach us about what it means to come into God's presence with gladness. At this very moment, God is equipping this church to reach out to the hated and the despised, the lonely, the grieving, the hungry, the poor, the shamed, the shunned. In this place, God is creating and equipping the Beatitude Church. Brothers and sisters of United in Christ, you are the Beatitude Church. Blessed are you. Blessed are you for the witness of God that you bring to this world. Blessed are you in the church universal. Blessed are you for the kingdom of God. Right here, right now, at this moment. Amen.